Finding the affordable areas to live in Vancouver is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Vancouver is known for its high real estate prices, right? And a lot of people think that owning a detached home here is totally out of the reach for working class families. I get it. A lot of people are thinking in Vancouver, every place is like $4 million plus. But here's the thing. While it's true that many places are expensive, there are still plenty of places in and around a city where families can actually afford detached homes. In this video, I'm going to walk you through five areas. These are areas of East Vancouver, Richmond, Burnaby, New West, and Coquitlam. And these offer options for working class buyers. Plus, I'll chat a little about renovation opportunities, market trends, and share some useful tips for first time home buyers. Let's start with East Van, which is made up of several diverse areas, each with its own unique vibe. You've got places like Renfrew Heights, Hastings Sunrise, and Kensington Cedar College, where you can still find single detached homes at prices that are more accessible compared to the West Side. A lot of these homes were built in the 1950s or earlier, so they have a solid construction and old school charm. Some have been beautifully renovated, while others have some great opportunities for those willing to take on a project and add some personal touches. One of the things that make East Vancouver special is its strong sense of community. The neighborhood are vibrant and diverse, and you'll notice that right away when you walk through a city like Commercial Drive, or the drive as everyone calls it, is packed with cafes, restaurants, local shops that reflect the multicultural feel of the area. Whether you're grabbing an Italian espresso or trying out some amazing Vietnamese food, you never run out of great dining options. East Vancouver is also a fantastic place for families. It's home to some great schools, parks, and community centers. For example, Trout Lake is a popular spot for weekend picnics, summer festivals, or just letting the kids run around on a sunny day. The Trout Lake Community Center offers tons of programs for both kids and adults, so there's always something going on. And if you're into outdoor activities, you've got easy access to biking trails and even skiing up at Mount Seymour or Grouse, which is just a short drive away. East Van is really well connected when it comes to public transit. You've got the Expo Line, the SkyTrain, which runs through areas like Commercial Drive and Renfrew, making it super easy to get to downtown or to other parts of the city. Plus, being close to major roads like Kingsway and East Hastings means you've got plenty of routes for commuting by car. One of the biggest draws for families looking in East Vancouver is the affordability compared to the other parts of the city. While the Vancouver West Side might be out of reach for many, East Van still offers the possibility of owning a single detached home without completely breaking the bank. You're getting the best of both worlds, a home with character, space for kids, and easy access to the city without the West Side price tag. An older home that is in decent condition will be around 2.2 million, while a newer home will be around 2.5 to 2.6. Another great thing about East Van is its potential for growth. As the city continues to develop, East Van is seeing more interest from buyers and developers. The homes here often come with larger lots, which is a big plus for anyone thinking about renovating or expanding in the future. You will have options when it comes to housing styles, whether it's classic Vancouver special, a bungalow, or even a character home. There's really a lot of variety. Okay, next up is Richmond. It is really a great spot for families. It's got schools, parks, and all the shopping you need, like Richmond Center and Stevenson Village. And if you love diverse food options, you're in for a treat. Richmond is super multicultural, which means you've got access to some of the most amazing dining and cultural experiences. The Canada Line makes commuting into Vancouver a breeze, and you're still connected to the city while enjoying a suburban vibe. Next up, we've got Burnaby, which, let's be honest, is one of the most convenient places for families who want to stay too close to Vancouver but do not want to pay downtown prices. In areas like Burnaby Heights, Metrotown, and Edmonds, you'll find a mix of older bungalows and newer attached homes. 
Burnaby's transit system is fantastic, with the SkyTrain making it super easy to get into the city. Central Park and Deer Lake are amazing places to spend with the family. Plus, you've got Metropolis and Metrotown, one of the largest centers around, so everything you need is right there. Now, let's talk about New West, or New West as the locals call it. This is one of the most affordable spots to get a single detached home in the Lower Mainland. And like Queensboro, Safferton, and Moody Park, which are more budget friendly compared to nearby Vancouver or Burnaby, it's got a charming small town feel with tons of heritage homes, local shops, cafes, and community events happening all the time. Moving on to Coquitlam, this city has been growing like crazy. It's a little further east, but if you're looking for space, Coquitlam is where you'll find it. Neighborhoods like Brook Mountain, Ranch Park, and Central Coquitlam have modern, spacious homes that are ideal for families who need more room to grow. Monday Park is one of the big highlights for outdoor activities, and Coquitlam Skytrain has all the shopping you'll ever need. Let's not forget about the potential for renovation in some of these areas. If you're considering East Vancouver or New Westminster, you'll find a lot of older homes that are just waiting to be updated. Homes from the 1950s or earlier often have really solid structures, but they might need a little modernization. If you're up for it, renovations can be a great way to get into the market at a lower price and then build long-term value by improving the home. If you're a first-time buyer, these are a few things you definitely want to keep in mind. First off, make sure you get pre-approved for a mortgage. It's a big deal because it helps you understand your budget and gives you an edge when you're ready to make an offer. And if you're looking at older homes, don't forget to factor in potential costs of renovations. It's always smart to have a little extra set aside for those unexpected repairs. Oh, and don't forget to look at first time's home buyer's incentive and the property transfer tax exemption. These can really help reduce those upfront costs. Okay, so why would you choose a detached home over a townhouse? Well, for starters, detached homes give you way more space. You get a yard, no shared walls with neighbors, and much more privacy. Plus, you don't have to deal with strata fees or restrictions or what you can do with your property. And while detached homes might be a bit more expensive up front, actually, I shouldn't say a little, it's actually a lot more expensive. They can really be a great investment down the road, especially if you plan to stay put for a while. And this is the reason why it's a great investment. It's because land is limited. On one side, you got the water. The other side, you have the mountains. South, you have like the U.S. So whatever you, whatever is scarce will always go up in value. Even though Vancouver's real estate market is known for being expensive, there are still plenty of opportunities for working class families to own single detached homes. Whether you're looking in East Vancouver, Richmond, Burnaby, or New Westminster, or Coquitlam, these areas offer some great affordable options that can fit a variety of needs. If you're thinking about buying or just want to learn more, feel free to reach out for a consultation. I'd be more than happy to help you find your perfect home for you and your family. I'm actually a realtor in Greater Vancouver, and I help families just like yourself to buy and find a new home. Give me a call at this number here below.